What's up guys, how y'all doing today? My name is John, and today we're here with our first support guide. Now, you might be thinking, John, what could you possibly teach with a support? They're kind of a support for a reason. However, you know, Lucio particularly. Lucio, I think, is my favorite support, because if you need someone to do damage and healing, and just provide so much utility for your team, then Lucio is your man, okay? Lucio is just... Also, he's one of the most chill champions in the game. He's like, he's just so chill about everything. Okay, but Lucio is much more of a three-dimensional support than him, I think. Because not only does he, does he do damage, he actually does quite a lot of damage. Uh, particularly when they get headshots, it's quite a lot of damage. Um, but he also is able to displace people, to move people out of the way with his right click. He's able to provide healing, gradual healing for himself, and also uh, bulk healing for your team. And he's able to provi provide speed for your team as well. So he does a lot of stuff. Um, and also his ult is the sand barrier, which gives your team shields. Which, say for capturing a point and you're being attacked and there's like four of you on the point or whatever, use a sand barrier and it'll give you all shields. And it's it is actually it's extremely helpful. So let's just go through what he does first. So his main click uh, is uh, his kind of three round burst uh, shooty thingy. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, yeah, he shoots three little um, bolts out and they it's kind of like Genji in that way. Fires three at a time. Uh, and his left click, not that is his left click, sorry, his right click even, is a kind of pushback, so if someone's right, right in your face, like if you have a diva or someone right in your face, right click and it'll push them back. And that is particularly annoying on maps like Lijiang Tower, where you can literally push people off the edge over and over again, because on Lijiang Tower, unless you come from the front, you're going from the two sides or the back, and they're all not guarded by rails or anything, so you can just be pushed off the edge without a second thought from Lucio he will just push you off the edge so if you're on the um, if you're on the those kind of maps it is very it is a uh, very very useful to actually look and see where you can push people off because you'll be able to do it and it can be extremely helpful now here you see I put up my, sh my shields my ult to try and save Farah then I went in here I just kind of sacrificed myself to try and heal Farah enough so that May wouldn't kill her but we both just ended up dying so I mean as a support you kind of have to try and save your team, but maybe don't sacrifice your own life to do it. I mean, if, if it's one person like that, I don't think I should have sacrificed my life to do that. Um, but, you know, I was trying to help Farah because Farah would have been able to kill May, and I necessarily wouldn't have been able to kill May. But, you know, um, it's, it's good to try and help your teammates, but maybe not at the risk of your own life. Um, so, yeah, Lucio's shift switches between his uh, speed and his healing. So when you have, uh, when you have healing selected, you'll have gra gradual healing for yourself. When you have speed selected, you'll have slightly faster speed, just by having it selected. Then your E is what uh, pumps up pumps up the sound of the song you're playing. So if you have speed selected and you press E, your team and everyone around you will get a big burst of speed. And if you have healing selected, everyone will get a big burst of healing. So um, also one thing I, I want to point out here, uh, you, saw, you see, I just climbed the wall up there because Lucio. Um, I saw a funny video actually the other day of, uh, I'm not sure which map it was, it was a map with a big well in the middle, I think it might have been, uh, Ilios, Ilios on a well, um, yeah, Lucio got pushed into the, into the big, big ring, but because Lucio can skate on walls, he's actually able to climb out of that, so, um, in certain situations you're able to actually climb up certain flat walls, like I did there, I kind of just bounced back and forth between the two walls, because I was in the corner, and uh, I was able to go get up the wall and get up behind uh, D.Va. So, it's always... I think it's important to, to look at these different things because no one expects a Lucio to just kind of appear there. And yeah, Lucio isn't gonna... isn't gonna spell your doom immediately, but... You know, Lucio will, will then provide help to the teammates who are up there. Like, I went up there because I think Fire was up there needing healing, so I went up there because of that. And they didn't expect me to do that. So it's important to think of ways you can... Um, you can catch people off guard and use Lucio's kit to make them pay for where they are. And then otherwise, he's fairly a straightforward support. Um, what you saw there a second ago was I may put down her blizzard and I use my speed, and use my E to amplify my speed and just kind of race through it because I didn't want to be anywhere near that. To be honest, when she actually cast it, I thought I was in the middle of it, so I actually ended up running through the whole thing. But, um, yeah. I mean, Lucio, he's not a very complicated champion, but he, he does a bit of everything. And that's why I really like him because he, he does damage, healing, and utility, which uh, the other supports really only do one or two. 
uh, Zenyatta kind of does Lucio's job and kind of does the same thing, but not to such an extent. So that's it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the guide. People, I don't know if people will find support guides helpful. I think they, they, there's still a lot to learn, though, because supports aren't mechanically difficult, but they are very important to your team. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys actually would like to see more support guides. I mean, there's only four of them, so I might do them anyway. Um, but let me know who you want to see done next. Leave it in the comments below, and I'll push them to the front of the line. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. That'd be great help, and you'll see all the new videos coming your way. And finally, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. That's been it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Like Anna is really strong at the moment, and I'm glad that she's been put in the, in the PTR first before the actual full game, because but if she is too strong, um, then she can be changed, and it's not going to affect the whole game. We just got confirmation by Blizzard about their new support champion, who is actually indeed Anna Amari, the mother of Farah. Anna, reporting for duty.